down. Next video is going to be bleaching your baby. No, I'm just kidding. I would never do that. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Everyday Pretty. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I went ahead and did some balayage blonde hair at home by myself. If you guys love to see the DIY hair stuff at home, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're always showing you different beauty hacks. And while me and Lana are not um, cosmetologists or licensed in any way, we both definitely have a passion, especially for hair. And so we feel like we have a lot of knowledge to share and we are just here to do that. So I'm gonna share with you the technique, maybe some things that went a little bit wrong and maybe something that I would do differently next time. But basically I have been getting my hair done at the salon for a while, like, I don't know, probably the past four years. I have only gone to the salon, but before that I used to always do my hair at home out of a box and I definitely think there are a lot of reasons that it's best to just go to a salon but I also feel like I know my hair really well and I feel really comfortable and confident doing it at home but if you're a little unsure maybe just skip it and just go to the salon but if you're feeling a little adventurous and you feel like maybe you can figure it out on your own go ahead and give it a try at least the look I'm going for is super achievable at home so I'm gonna share with you guys what I went ahead and did so like I said I was kind of going for a balayage if I do too many highlights up around the crown of my head then I get stuck with really bad roots my hair is naturally dirty blonde and so it does lift really easily so maybe that's part of the reason it's easy for me to do it at home but if you have dark brown hair and you're trying to go blonde, then maybe that would be more difficult. We'll leave that to the pros. I definitely think it's worth it to go to the salon. It feels good, it's nice and pampering. And I'm not trying to discredit what the professionals do at all. My hairstylist earns every penny that she makes when I go to her and I'm so grateful for her. But I just kind of wanted to do something on my own at home. I'm super impatient and super impulsive. So this is what we did today. I got the box color today and I just did it at home today. Um, first thing I will say is that that this is not really the color that I'm hoping for. I really like a really cool blonde and so I'm definitely gonna go ahead and tone it. I already ordered my toner and it should be here soon so if you guys are interested in seeing how I tone it to a really icy blonde color then stay tuned. Um, it's so easy. People think maybe they can't achieve that light blonde at home but a lot of it is in the toner and if you look at my hair like this is the part I did and this is the part that I didn't do. This is the part my professional did and this is definitely much of a lighter blonde but it's not too far off and just putting a simple toner in there will really go ahead and even the colors out. I don't want to waste too much time talking. You guys are here to see me apply it. But I just want you to keep in mind that I definitely was trying to have more of a rooted look. And also a big thing to me was that I could get rid of this line. I had this ring around my head. A few years ago, I was just doing completely platinum blonde from the roots to the tips. No highlights at all, just complete overall color. So to get rid of that line has been a journey. Even my hairstylist hasn't been able to get rid of it. In fact, this is the closest I've been able to get to getting rid of that line. So I'm really happy and I'm actually really excited to tone it and see how it turns out. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Any tips you have for me for doing my hair at home? So I'm using Revlon Frost and Glow and this is just kind of what's in it. Just, you know, the powder developer, something to mix with and the cap. I never use the cap except at the end. I don't use it to pull through the holes. I think that's so weird. So basically you just mix the highlighting powder into that little container that comes with it. And then you add in the cream developer and you mix it up really good until it's just like a regular creamy consistency. take all my hair against the normal part I would normally do and I'm going to start on that side and then bring little pieces over. So around my face I'm going to go really really high to the root because I want it to be more blonde around my face and then around the rest of my hair I'm actually going to start much further away from the root and blend it up. But yeah, so around my face it's going to go pretty high basically to the root and I smudge it at the top and then I bring it down towards the blonde and I try not to overlap it too much into the blonde because I don't want to destroy the integrity of the blonde hair. It's already super bleached and I don't want to overlap the bleach too much. So here on this strand you can see I started further away from my root and I smudge it up and then I bring it towards the blonde without overlapping too much. And again, I'm gonna do it the same way over and over and over again.
my baby brought my phone into me and it was actually like a very important call and doing your hair is a little bit time sensitive so we just kind of did everything at the same time but it was fine it was it all worked out so we're good <laughs> So um, in some places I can tell that I could have done a much better job if I had taken smaller pieces. You'll see as the video goes on I start taking bigger and bigger pieces and just doing it kind of sloppily. Luckily it all turned out pretty good but it definitely could have been better if I would have been more patient. So I'm just going to move over the next section and I'm going to do the same thing, just kind of grab random pieces throughout and bring the highlight up. Um, and again around my face obviously I'm gonna bring it a lot higher and then as I go towards the back of my head it's all gonna be a lot lower so there's that phone again man it was just a very important phone call you gotta believe me so again I'm just gonna keep bringing the hair around until I get back to my normal part and I cannot believe how well it broke up see that line around my head I am so surprised how well I was able to break up that line and I'm just really relieved actually. Now one thing you're probably wondering is um, why am I not using any foil? Oh look at that. That was a bad one. I should have taken that and had that be like three pieces but I was just so impatient. Luckily I did the next one kind of small. But um, yeah, back to the tin foil. In a salon they use tin foil and that's because it will capture a lot of heat and heat will make your hair develop faster as well as to be able to lift to a much brighter, blonder hair color. And um, for me, I thought about it. I was like, do I want to put foils in? And I was like, no, I have time. I don't need to be in a rush. And you know, someone told me once that the tin foils actually just make it so you can get through the process a lot faster. And I have time so I can stay home and sit with this in my hair for a while. Um, obviously the box said only to let it sit for a maximum of 60 minutes and I actually only did 60 minutes but I think I could have done longer my hair feels extremely healthy like it didn't really seem to have a ton of damage and if I would have left it in longer I probably ha could have gotten my hair lifted lighter and obviously my hair is not as light as I want it to be but we're gonna go ahead and tone it and see what that does <music> Once I was done, I just flipped it up so I could keep it out of the way and I went ahead and took the cap that came in the box and put it on my hair and that did trap some heat as far as developing the color goes. So that is basically how I applied the product. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer you and thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. And she just woke up from a nap and she's as cute as ever. And she's actually wearing her brother's clothes today, but you still look cute. <laughs>